Okay. I have here what may be the world's tallest vlog setup. This is a C100 with a GoPro attached to the top of it, which is the camera that's looking back at me, so I don't have to spin this thing around. This is, this is the establishing shot, Daniel. That's the way, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's too bright. Get, get all our license plates. Well, what's the problem with license plates? The problem with license plates? I don't know. Yeah, because it's like, right, everyone always gets freaked out about that. Everyone's like, yo, if my license plate is in the video, like what, some jackhole at the DMV is going to know where I live? I think it's just one more way for people to figure out who you are, where you live, more personal information about you. I don't know. But, I mean, yes, it's true. A crazy, you know, DMV person. Like, also, real quick, people want, like... I've been in the DMV, they don't watch our videos. Oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't think it's about DMV people, I think it's about viewers of the videos. Yeah, but how can they access the information, though? All that stuff is, you know... I think, I think a fair amount of it's actually about the Nah, not by license plate. Otherwise, every time I get cut off on the road, I'll just be like, saving that one, gonna figure out where this... There'd be so many more, there'd be so many more fire bombings in America <laughs> if people could figure out who cut them off on the road based on their license plate. Everybody would be pulling their phones out to try and... Yeah. Just saying. I think there's a lot of things in this world to be afraid of, but maybe your license plate's not one of them because you, I don't know, you just drive around in public with it all the time too, so maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god, it's warm in here. It's hot. It's cold. What, is the AC not working? Yeah, it's cranking out. This one is, but our actual room AC is not working. Well, that's bad. Yeah. This is our server room. So what nice. is this one? This is uh, the ISIS running our... Wait, sorry, what? Say that again? This is the ISIS... What does ISIS stand for? Uh, integrated Storage... Uh, don't, I, I couldn't tell it's you. It's AVID's it. file it's system. AVID's file system. So they run all of our major production right now. Dimension 404 is all stored on this bad boy. Dude, how, how much you want to bet the people at AVID were like so annoyed by <laughs> current <laughs> events that like they named their file system? Here's what we'll call it. ISIS. ISIS. And then it's just like cut to like a year <laughs> later, it's like... Uh, <laughs> so this is our, what is this one here? So we got Helms deep down here, cold storage. We got uh, G right here, which is a project. Current project. Current project. And then we got this, which is Highwind, which is user, uh, user home folders and stuff like that, and Rocket Jump Film School. So we just got the rails for this too. So we're gonna mount him in there. Uh, we need to keep this door open, I feel like. Yeah, I'm gonna set some fans in here and blow it out. Good God. It is like a noticeable heat differential, like from between yeah. here and... About uh, 12 degrees. Is the exhaust working? Yeah, it pumps up out there. So which is better then? Does the fan blow towards me? Or should the fan blow in? Uh, hot air out, I think. There's gonna be so many people who are gonna be like, You idiots! You should be blowing cold air in! Trust me. We've had so many air conditioning guys in here trying to get us a workable system for this room, but this building is so janky. I have a moment here before lunch, so let's check in on what super exciting stuff Matt and Will are up to. Hooker at Chancellorsville. All despite overwhelming odds, he won the unshakable confidence of Jefferson Davis. He is a very great general, and uh, he, he's superb on both the offensive and the defensive. Uh, he took long chances. Here's a question for you, Matt. Yeah. Everyone's seen your board games. Let's do a little walkthrough of your board game collection. So you can... All right, I'm supposed to go make Blue Apron for the wife, so it'll be fast. Yeah, let's go. Okay. okay. All right, so what do we got? So it's kind of was organized, but every game night it gets out of place. So anyways, so vaguely it goes from like more casual to like, you know, the hardcore shit. Sorry, that was um, a little other than uh, I Eventually I'll make some nice cards. But these are, I just wrote small card games. Arboretum's super good. Archaeology's a classic. This is like all the bluffing and yelling. This is where 90% of what gets played during game night. This is, you know, Resistance, Sheriff of Nottingham, code names, which is not really bluffing and yelling, but it was, the idea was going from like easy to- um, More hardcore. Hardcore, hardcore. Yeah. it kind of fell apart. This is cool. This is like the 1970 version of Cosmic Encounter, which is one of our favorite games and when I got it I tweeted it and the creator of Cosmic Encounter tweeted back at us. How many games do you have here? Well uh, on Board Game Geek it says like over 460 but that includes like every single like shit for Armada and stuff so I don't know it's probably like over 200 like full scale games. 
slot games. Now, so so most people probably, you know, they've played Monopoly. They've probably played, like, Catan a couple times. Yeah. And been like, wow, like, there's more to board games than, yeah. than this. So, to those people, what's the what's the next game? What, what should they be playing? So, the, people call them gateway games, like gateway drugs. is where you get, you get started and then you get the real shit. This pandemic, this is a pretty uh, Yo, classic gonna, gateway a, game. Hit me up with some pandemic. This is obviously the nice version of the gateway game where you have all the expansions in here. All the stuff, all the toys you could want. Look at this stuff. That's because when you get into the real stuff, you start packaging your stuff nicely. So look at this. You ever seen you ever seen a Final Fantasy look this nice? Nah, dude, board games are where it's at. <laughs> so What does Okay, sure. <laughs> pandemic. It's a pandemic, you're all trying to stop the spread of disease around the world. That's a good gateway game. Uh, you know the classic ones are like Catan, Carcassonne. Those are all in like the 90s, but there's better games out there now, in my opinion. Dominion, though, still the best. Like a crappy magician just pulling out this extra every, boxes of stuff. This is every expansion of Dominion. But when you buy it, you just get, like, Dominion is just a simple card game. But this is every expansion. There's been, like, I think 11 expansions now. Uh, this is one of the few games my wife plays. I've taught this to a ton of people. People love this game. So Dominion's a good gateway game. You can get it for like 25 bucks now. Best yelling at your friends game. Start it. Ooh, best yelling at your friends game. I, I mean, Resistance is the best yelling at your friends game. Like, relationships are broken over um, Resistance. But a lot of people find that intimidating because <laughs> there is nothing to that game other than lying to your friends. There's not a lot of structure. I mean, you know, One Night Ultimate Werewolf is great. I'm a big fan of Sheriff of Nottingham, um, but that game kind of depends on your gaming group. But like, there's nothing better than just like holding up a bag and lying to your friends. What away. would you say? What would you say? I would say of all the games that we've played, the one that's consistently the one that everyone comes back to. Code Names. Code Names. Yeah, Code Names is I think one of the greatest games ever made. It's any argument for it like being too small, right? It doesn't matter. It's like I, I think every time we have a game night, like both because I have two copies of it and pictures, and I think every game night, there's two copies usually being played. Yeah. It's being played by like 10 people. It's a, it's, I mean, it's like Monopoly now. Oh, it's great, it's gonna last for a long time. That thing's fun around forever. Stefan Feld, one of the great designers. This is my favorite game by him. Um, Castle of Burgundy, one of the Actually, ugliest, the ugliest art the, ever. But Is that the best game with the ugliest art? This, no, it was until it got, where is, this is the ugliest, I will show you the ugliest art. Worst ratio from quality, to art. Are you ready? Tell yeah. me if you'd ever, tell me how hard I would have to convince you to play this game with me, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's... No, like, wait, no. Like, how can you put so much effort in, this is like an incredibly simple, beautiful, it's oh, like... Hold it's steady for yeah. a second. It's just a It's just lady. ugly. It looks like, Dang. it looks like weird photo, like, it looks like four different art styles, kind of. It's just this ugly burgundy... Like, oh my god. This is the first thing thrown away. Like, this is the ugliest. This is, this is like a Goodwill game. Right? And it's a classic. And it's one of those games that's so hard to get people to play. But it's, it's, like, it's like Brussels sprouts. Like, <laughs> like you don't want to play this, and then you play it's like, oh, this is way better than, like, freaking So this is a great anything. game. It's a great game, and easy to play. Anybody can play it. If you've played Monopoly, you can play Concordia. It's fantastic. Just don't judge a board game by its cover. Yeah. Right, here's where, here's where the credit, and I don't even know it's credit. I think a lot of, I know a lot of board gamers who think, you know, it's, it's, it's a joke to buy this stuff. I'm getting like buying this stuff. But that's not a joke. That's the sweetest part. I know, right? Custom inserts. I, I, custom never make a mess everything. ever again. I mean, I just love custom inserts so freaking much. Good job, Maple Realty. That's some classy ass shit right there. It's like, oh, let me grab this guy. Easy. Yo, it seems nothing, but like, it's the difference between a game taking like 40 minutes to set up and a game taking like a minute to set up and play. So really, it's just time. You're buying time here. You're not buying time you for are. more time with friends. Uh huh. I started playing board games because my friends started coming back from college, and we used to play Smash Bros. all the time. And then we started getting wives, girlfriends, other friends coming in. We can't sit there, and, and also we're so wow. against Smash Brothers. We look couldn't at, sit there. Look at Matt. No, and I'm saying the lady. No, this is just all real life. I'm friends, saying real life. We used to. Not we, no, no. We used to <laughs> always. We used to always just go in and play Smash Brothers. Like Thanksgiving, we just play Smash Brothers for like four days straight. Yeah. And then life started changing, and then I started getting board games, and I realized when I got board games, it's like I was having like family nights. I was like playing with my friends. Like parents were gonna play like games with us and stuff like that. And it's like you know what? Friends and family. That's what matters, everybody. And lots of spending lots of money on board games. <laughs> Um, anyways, that was board game corner. That was so, so boring. You're not using no, any of that. No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll have people. I'll have people tweet at you if they have uh -huh. board game recommendation questions. As you put yourself out there as a sommelier of board yeah. games, 
Oh, I'll, I'll recommend Tweet at Matt L. Arnold. But he's yeah, not, I'm always uh, down to discuss board games. I love it. Thanks for watching. Please let us know what you thought in the comments below. And I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving or Thursday if you're in the rest of the world. We're doing some Black Friday sales uh, at shop.rocketjump.com. VGHS merch, Rocket Jump merch, Rocket Jump Film School stuff. Uh, head on over there and check it out. We even have like a special autograph limited edition ball pit ball. All kinds of cool stuff. So shop.rocketjump.com and click around for a while.